Hi, I'm Chris Parrish with Nightingale Game Calls. What we're going to talk about today is kind of A to Z on mouth calls. So many times the question arises, what mouth call do I choose if I'm a beginning caller? What's the best call for a certain situation? Well, there's really no best call for a certain situation. However, there is a best call when you're a beginning mouth caller. And I choose a straight double reed. And the reason why, a straight double reed has one layer of latex on top and another one on the bottom, and there's a separation there which naturally creates a high and low on the mouth call. And that's what a turkey's voice is made up of is highs and lows. Now, mouth calls are made many different ways and with many different materials. Here at Night and Hail, we use good quality aluminum frames because not everybody's mouth is shaped the same. You can actually bend this frame to fit the upper part of the roof of your mouth. The next thing you can do, if the tape is too large for you, is you can trim the tape starting with about a sixteenth of an inch at a time to fit your mouth and be more comfortable. But you don't want to go too far because you'll lose your air seal and when you lose your air seal you're not able to put air over the top of the reed therefore you have no sound. So choose the right call first. Standard double reed call. Now we'll talk about using this call. Obviously this is going to take a little work. It's not something that's going to come overnight. But practice makes perfect all the time. And practice in your car Practice at home away from your wife and family so that they don't pull all your calls away from you in the dark and throw them away. Um, but make sure you spend a bunch of time practicing and a bunch of time listening to live turkeys because that will help you with your rhythms. Your tongue is placed on the open part of the call, just like my finger is, and you're putting pressure up on that. And that pressure creates a high note when you huff air. And when I say huff air, oftentimes that's confused. The best way to teach you how to huff air is go to your bathroom mirror and walk up to it and blow first and then huff from your abdominal muscles. When you blow air into your bathroom mirror, it's not going to leave a steam. When you huff air and you bring air up from your diaphragm and your stomach muscles, it's going to leave steam print on the mirror. And when it leaves a steam print, you're huffing air. Remember that. That's a good practice, actually, to do that before you ever start blowing the call so that you're properly getting airflow across the call. I'm going to insert this call in the roof of my mouth, and we have a turkey foot on the top of our tape, which indicates that goes up in your mouth. Pretty smart thinking from someone. I'm going to place my tongue on this, and I'm going to huff air, and all I'm trying to do is get a high note out of the call. I'm not worried about getting perfect sound. I'm just trying to make a sound with the call and not gag or not tickle my tongue. Once I'm able to do that and be consistent, now I'm gonna to try to learn the two note yelp of the turkey. This requires slightly dropping your jaw, which will drop your tongue off the call a little bit and release airflow, airflow so that you now have the high and low note. Remember, however, when you drop your jaw, you're not dropping your jaw to the point where the call falls loose in your mouth. You're still holding tension on it. Now, that's the improper rhythm, so now I want to make sure I do the right rhythm. And oftentimes we use words that we say, like chick or chuck or even yelp. You choose whatever one is easiest for you to use. I prefer to use Yelp simply because I think you get the proper note length and it's easier to obtain really good rhythm and learn really good rhythm by using that particular sound or particular word. Now that I've gotten the word out and I'm getting the high low note pushed together, Let's think about our rhythm. We've listened to turkeys. We know how they put their calls together. We're going to try to do the perfect rhythm. Turkeys are made up of two notes, and the yelp is the backbone and bread and butter of the call. You learn how to yelp, and you'll be able to call in and harvest any turkey you set up on.